the 10 hours is quite long so I was like whole 10 hours I was like what's it going to be like like how am I going to cope what the class is going to be like but it was like more excitement than anything it was like I can't wait to experience the new environment and stuff like that. My only expectations was American films uh, I thought it wouldn't really be anything like that uh, it turns out it actually was. <laughs> the time zone change was very strange for a while uh, jet lag was definitely a thing but you get over that pretty quickly. Uh, the money conversion, like it feels like you have Monopoly money for a while. So I'm like, yeah, I can spend a dollar. I can spend this, I can spend that. Cause it doesn't feel like real money for a while. But then you slowly realize, oh wait, this is more money. I do have to like budget this like I would at home. I'd never even spoke to an American before. Uh, so when my friend's like, you're going to America and you've never even uh, spoke to an American person. I thought that was going to be intimidating, but uh, you quickly settle in and adjust to the culture. I had a, a stop in San Francisco, so having to, you know, I probably didn't give myself enough time, so having to negotiate the airport in a small amount of time. We ended up going for West Coast. It just seemed more friendly and like more uh, chilled, laid back, and um, it like was most similar to YSJ, so home from home. It's an amazing experience, everyone makes you feel really welcome, and um, yeah, definitely, definitely do it. It doesn't feel like it's real. And when you get there, it's like the whole experience is amazing. Definitely plan it. Make sure you like have things set out that you know you want to do so that when you're here, you do more than just like be at the uni. But yeah, it's definitely something that, that you should do if you're thinking about it. Hi, my name is Anna Nguyen. Um, I'm from Pacific University, which is in Forest Grove, Oregon. My degree back home is a little bit more focused and you have to take certain classes at a certain time and so what really drew me to York St. John was their sports science program and there's some um, physical therapy classes here as well so they actually transfer back and so I can graduate on time so that was a really cool thing and York St. John really caters to our exercise science majors back home. Uber and Lyft isn't as popular as it is back in the states and um, so when I do take taxis um, I have often taken it with friends so I do feel safe um, and also the university has been a great job um, letting us know that they partnered with certain taxi companies um, so that we know that it's a safe option for students. My biggest thing was like having a packing list and like check like on my phone and checking it off whenever I put that into my luggage but I mean I always overpack because I always think that I'm gonna need more clothes than I do and I always like to bring everything I own with me. I think it's gonna be a very difficult transition um, when I go back. I'm a local where I'm going back to like I know everything, it's not going to be as exciting where like everything's, every week something new happens, it's not going to be like that, it's just going to be very, it'll be boring when I get back, I'll just say that. Here everything has a small little fee that goes with it, you have to pay for laundry, you have to pay for all these different things, so it would have been nice to know just so I could kind of set up a budget beforehand to set aside money for traveling to small little places, nights out, definitely didn't realize that those would be costing that much money. <laughs> There's a like an actual like bar inside of the school like I've never seen that before so that was like really big and like who, like who does this? I wish I was told this actually is when you go to shops and you only have card but they only take cash so you're like oh so now I have to go to a cash machine and pull out cash and then come back so I did wish someone told me about that that's the only money issue I've had it has made me more of like an independent person because I've never been in a place where it's just me. Like I don't have any family, don't have any friends. I don't I'm like I'm not close enough to go home. So it really has made me be able to do things by myself. I've definitely felt nervous like making new friends again because I feel like that's going to be um, a huge aspect about studying abroad. Um, so it was really nice to come here and actually to be able to polish up on skills like such as you know meeting new friends and learning to put myself out there. So it's been a really good experience. I feel like um, I'm more comfortable in my own skin and um, just been enjoying it here. It's been, it's been great.